Shalom Israel. This is uh, Yeshaya back at it with another Car Chronicle. It's a lot. Alright. Um, obviously, it's bright out here, so don't fucking ask me why I got a. Don't fucking ask me why I got shades on. It's fucking hot and bright. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to do a video because um, I had a disturbing conversation with a quote-unquote sister that's in the faith the other day. Um, I, I, hadn't, I noticed she put on Facebook the same shit that all these worldly chicks are putting up. No man should uh, make any, should have any part in any laws that govern how, you know, what a woman does with her body and shit. So, you know, I saw her put it up on Facebook. I sent her a text message because... This is a female that I'm that cool with, where I can actually... Oh, shit. Music's a little loud, so I can... Um, so, I had to talk with her. This is a constructive talk, because I know how to talk to people that don't see eye to eye with me. And I told her, listen, it shouldn't be about a gender, because at the end of the day, what, what are you going to have? A separate governing body governing what men do and what women do? So what if, what if the man side of that governing body was to say, hey, it's okay to murder people. You know? <laughs> like, 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 it, it's the, it, it just doesn't ma match up. So ultimately what's happening now, in the, in, you know, these feminists are angry because, you know, men are suggesting breastfeeding as a means to counteract the baby food, baby formula shortage that we're experiencing in the United States. And to be honest, I, 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 this this proves that it's more about hating men than it is about finding solutions to society's ills. Society's problems start with people having a range of opinions about very concerning deep moral matters. Because I even talked to her about abortion. And, you know, I told her, listen, abortion, uh, breastfeeding, like these are things that, you know, were created by God. It's not about man and woman. Like, we, we make things into um, issues that they're not. Just like people that turn everything into racism. Everything's not racism that happens in the world. And everything's not the, the 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 super evil man that wants to control everything, that rubs his hands together in a malicious way like this. You know what I mean? Some things are simply, you know, things that we have to make rules and laws for as a society. Because what do we, you know? That using that line of reasoning, should we also split it into races? No white person should have, should make laws governing how how black people live, and vice versa. So now we have to we have to now segregate our lawmakers. See how stupid that sounds? That sounds like racism. That sounds mm -hmm. like genderism. You know, there's enough isms in this fucking world without people adding stupid shit to it. You know, that whole thing about no man should make a law governing what women do with their bodies. But, bitch, you want to kill your baby. You know, or dealing with this issue with the baby formula outage. I have a revolutionary idea. Breastfeed your children if you can. I will say I'm going to add if you can. Because there are situations, give you a perfect example, is my daughter. You know, due to certain medications that my daughter's mother had to take shortly after the birth, you know, we started, she started breastfeeding her, but she couldn't continue. And I'm, I'm going to give you an even more deeper spiritual thing. Breastfeeding creates a better bond between child and parent child and mother particularly you know it's, it's a better stronger bond 
than a bitch that just mixed up some damn formula and said, here, drink this. You know, we, we have to be very mindful. We have to be very, very, uh, we, we have to, to be practical because there's going to be outages and shortages of a lot of things in these last days. I think that a, a simple thing as, and, and notice, and, and this is what this, you know, and I'm going to take the hat off because this is prophecy. Didn't the scripture say that the Lord, um, some, something along the lines of, basically, we feel bad for, for those that are with child in those days. That's why, you know, you have a, a baby formula outage. It's not like a, like a shortage of chicken wings. You know, a grown ass adult can eat anything. Well, anything within the law. But a baby either needs breast milk or some type of formula. And that's what, you know, they they have a, a, a huge outage. Like, I'm telling you, I have a good friend that I've been... Every, every CVS, every Walmart, I try to stop in. Because I have a good friend who's, you know, who has a, a child that's under a year old and needs that formula. You know, and... Sure. I need some sleep. But um but yeah. We need uh we need you know the, the, all this shit happens honestly, man. It's it's unnecessary. It's really unnecessary. Oh shit, I didn't know that I just drove over a fucking speed bump. But anyway. It's unnecessary to, you know, it, 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 it's this is a real stupid thing to say. No man should govern a woman's, you know, body shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. Let, let's be practical. Let's not be assholes about it. Let's not be rebels about it, because that's the problem. Women want to be rebels. Women, women want to say, oh, oh, my body, my choice. God gave you the ability to produce milk for a baby for a fucking reason. Yet, you say, fuck all that. And it's a chance to bond with your child, but instead of breastfeeding or even entertaining it as an idea, you say, oh, my body, my choice. Men shouldn't govern this. Men shouldn't suggest what a woman can do with her body. Like, you know, it gets to the point where it's just, just beyond stupid. It, it gets really beyond stupid because, you know, you, you're, you're going to my body, my choice yourself into starving children. Because like I said, right now there there is an outage in baby formula. And for some reason, particularly the one that I've been looking for. So, this is, this is what we're looking at here. We're looking at a world full of women that hate men so much. You know, and, and women used to be... I used to actually admire how women loved their children. But women, not, a lot of women are not pro-life. They are pro-choice, which also means I'm pro-killing babies. You know, and if you are if you have a problem with the idea that a woman should breastfeed, then you have a problem with feeding your babies. You know, like we're literally living in the time. If you read uh, Lamentations 4, the fourth chapter, it talks about how children will be you know, starving and no, no one's there to feed them. That's what we're dealing with here. You know, it took off the hat because that is a prophecy that I spoke. You know, but we, we have too much going on um, with these outages, shortages, you know, baby food shortages. It's a lot. You know, we just had a wing shortage wing stop turned into thigh stop you know and part of that too is 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 picky niggas fault man you go to a damn sports bar and niggas be like oh I want all flats I want all drums nigga just take the part of the damn wing that they give to you you know but it, it just is what it is man you know our people are, are definitely destroyed for lack of knowledge because this is an absolute, absolute lack of knowledge. 
Our people are gone, man. But with that, I'm going to say Shalom.